Hey everybody, Papa Gord here, and I have a new figure to review today. This one is one of those figures that's a real giant pain in the ass to get. Uh, definitely up in Canada as of right now because it hasn't even been released up here yet. But it's another one of those lovely E-words, the exclusive. So hold tight, join me, and we'll look at this new one together. See you in a minute. All right, guys. So I think just over a week ago, well, we'll set the Wayback Machine for about a week or so ago. And uh, Clone Command reached out through Instagram, sent me a picture of, of a figure, and was like, I hid a figure. Uh, did you want said figure? And as soon as I saw the picture, I'm like, uh, yes, yes, I do. So I had to wait till he went back to Target to see if the figure was still where he hid it. And it was, and this is what he stashed. So I have a Cobra Viper. D don't hate me, please. I, I, I kind of feel... I feel good that I have him, but I kind of feel guilty because I know there's lots of people that are looking for him. If I would have been able to get my hands on more, I, I would have definitely spread the wealth. I will be keeping an eye out when Toys R Us finally gets this stuff, and hopefully I'll be able to help a few um, other collectors out um, that still want to actually collect G.I. Joe because I know it's... It's touch and go for a lot of Joe collectors out there. A lot of guys are bailing just because it's getting too difficult to find this stuff. So we have number 22 in the line, the Cobra Viper from Cobra Island. Uh, all the I have never looked up one of these things, so I'd say he's, he wears boots, he's got ammunition, he can make a fist, and he likes to work at nighttime. That, that's the way I interpreted this whole thing. I know there's a thing that you can look up on the website and it tells you that he's either for strategy or stealth or just a bunch of other stuff. Honestly, I just don't really care about. And then you get a little montage collage thing going on on that side. So that's the one thing with the G.I. Joe line is all the boxes are done by different artists. So there's not one particular style done on all of them, unlike like the Black Series or even Marvel Legends, uh, Power Rangers, you know, it's all the same. So let's crack this sucker open and see what we've got. Now, I gotta get the box, one second. I'm not one for taking the inserts out at all. Um, I know some people, just to get rid of the box, they'll just cut this piece here and just save this like the file card or whatever. But I mean, it's got a pretty neat logo on it, but that's that's not my thing. So that's just gonna stay in the box. I do keep my Cobra, uh, my G.I. Joe Classifieds, and my Star Wars. Uh, Legends, I actually just wiped out any other box I had left for any Marvel Legends uh, just this past uh, weekend. So, so here he is. I will say right off the bat, I've had him out already before. I messed around with him for a few hours during the day because luckily the mail had, uh, had shown up right when I was leaving for work. And I was able to bring him in with me to work today and see what he was all about. And he's, he's, it's, it's, it's a good figure. I can kind of see a little bit of the hype from a few people that want multiples of this because he definitely is a troop builder. It's kind of like the um, like the the Hoth trooper from the Black series. I mean, mind you, you can't swap out the face or anything like that. But um, you know, you, you kind of want multiples. But I will say, I think if he feels very light on accessories. Like you look at that original Cobra infantry infantry trooper, that deluxe Cobra Island one with the, the armband and the backpack that stashes a couple extra guns and he's got knives and more handguns and whatever. He feels very lacking. Um, so here, we'll get a, a good look. Again, there's always gonna be pictures up 
but um, I kind of dig it. Uh, you get the, the actual skin tone, so it looks like it's a dude wearing a helmet. I know these forearm gauntlets, uh, you can pop the hands out and heat these up a little bit and get them off and you will see skin color, uh, some flesh tone under here because the upper half of this guy is Duke. So it's just not had any of the other paint job. Then you put this big thick rubbery vest on him which kills a lot of the articulation. There's no crunch, but we'll get into that. But he's just all sorts of blue, black and red and, and a little bit of silver. So um, I'm gonna accessorize him really quick and just kind of show you what he does have. So he's got his his little futuristic space laser pistol, and that just fits in nice and snug up on his hip, or I guess his upper leg. Not so much his hip because his hip would be up a little bit higher than that. He does come with his little bandana thing. Uh, I thought maybe he'd have to pull his head off. No, it's got a, a cut in it, so you can just slide it around his head. And it seems that it just has a natural place where it lies or lays. So that's pretty cool. I like it. Now he's got a big chunky backpack and this definitely has a tendency to make him very back heavy. You didn't see him fall, but you could have heard that. Um, it is a chunky, chunky backpack. So he's got some canisters on there, some rope. You gotta, you gotta recognize and, and show off your, uh, your, your, your Cobra colors. So if anybody sees you, they know um, that you're on the same team, I guess. Um, it kind of goes along with his, uh, his logo, yes, I know where my finger's touching right now, but whatever. So we got another logo there. The paint's pretty decent on that. And then there is one more Cobra logo right up yonder. Got a couple more canisters. I never understood why do you put like explosive canisters on your person? Because one deflection of a bullet or something like that and your 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 burger meat, like poof, gone. Now he does come with one of those futuristic nerf style guns this one's not so bad i don't mind this 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 kind of screams a little bit of gi joe it's kind of futuristic looking there's no paint on it whatsoever just cast in straight black so i i'm i'm fine with that this this is okay it's we've seen worse definitely and it's got one of those goofy holsters but it's it's a pretty easy uh, grip for him to to get got another grip for a second a second hand and there so again nothing super it's just there so he can hold pretty well now he does come with one, one other accessory which I don't really understand it's on the picture but he comes he comes with a pair of goggles I sure because when you've got a clear or a, 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 a silver face shield, you need goggles to go over top of that face shield. Because, I, yeah, I don't know. Now, I will say, um, they rest on the head. They do not really pull down. Like, it kind of looks sort of okay, but not really. Like, it... Again, it's just, it's just resting. I've tried to pull it down a bit. Um, there's a little bit of flex to it, but um, yeah, it just, it doesn't, like, cause you're not gonna have him walking around looking like an idiot like that. So these are just gonna go in to the, the into the package, never to be used. I don't think, unless for doing a custom of somebody and these will fit on the head. I don't really know. So this this is what he's, he's gonna be kind of primarily like on my shelf. Um, yeah. So I'm, I am a little disappointed that there's not more. I thought maybe he might come with, I don't know, maybe another couple of bigger guns or maybe he may have a, a knife or something like that. He comes with a bandana, goggles, 
a pistol and his uh, his big long laser rifle thing with his big beastie backpack. So a little disappointed for a troop builder. Uh, again, multiple extra weapons would make it really easy just to make some slight tweaks. Maybe you pose him without having his neckerchief and he's got dueling pistols or you've got him with a pistol and maybe a knife in one hand or you, you get them like this or if you happen to have been lucky to receive extra weaponry like even uh, something like that that would that would work I think pretty well also so let's let's pop one of those out but yeah I I I don't want to downplay and make it sound like oh man this guy really sucks I like his I like the look um, I think this was a time again when I don't think I was as heavily into G.I. Joe. I wasn't really super big into G.I. Joe ever. I had my share, but I don't think I ever had a Viper. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to take the backpack off as well. So, same articulation. I think from about the waist down, this is all new sculpt because he's got this... Uh, this, this pattern going on. <laughs> right there, take a look. Uh, on the insides of the legs, I guess for pant rub, so he doesn't get red spots on the insides of his legs for chafing. I think. Again, he's got that drop down, uh, that drop down leg, but they run into the lower parts of the munition part of the belt of his of his vest. But, I mean, honestly, he still goes all the way out. He does get back. Like, come on, that is awesome. Double jointed knees. Again, lots and lots of range there. I think that's very respectable. Double joints on the elbows. Um, the gauntlet runs into the upper part of the arm. So you're, but you're still getting over 90. You're getting probably 75 to 80%, which is really good. Um, we'll take off his neckerchief. Oh, his head does come off. That was for you, Linda. There you go. Um, gotta be careful. So there you go. So that's, that's what he looks like. So there is another um, ball down lower to get a little bit more positioning with the neck. But yeah, the more you try to angle the head, it just wants to come right off. So you get a little bit of up. You can bury the chin, which is really good. Um, again, there is some tilt, not a ton, but that's okay. Arms go all the way around as well. Um, one complaint I have, remember I talked about these, you can heat the bracers up and you take them off. The, the one arm, the left hand, it pegs in tight enough, but the more you start kind of moving it around, it, it just wants to come right out. Don't know if that's just mine. Let me know down in the comments if you have any issues um, with that as well. I'm generally very curious. And again, the... Like, you do get, like, you can feel it. Like, I can hear it kind of snapping into place so he does get a little bit of crunch but this giant vest he's got going on here really hinders him a little bit but i like him i dig him he's cool i love the boots there i love the textured look he's got there um i think he's a he's he's a solid addition again i can see why people want more than one of this figure i am more than happy with just the one of this figure. I don't need a second. Um, that Cobra Trooper, that deluxe one, I only have one. I do have a regular, uh, less accessorized version that is coming out anytime now. So I will have another one of those, but kind of like I got a, a higher up rank one and then just a grunt. Then we got a Viper as well. So it's only, honestly, it's Firefly. I still, I still need a Firefly and that will still keep me up to date for now. We'll see how 2021 plays out for myself and G.I. Joe, and probably for a lot of you guys out there as well. This, I hope Hasbro is going to start learning from 
really bad decisions that they're making lately. It's, they're starting to leave a very bad taste in my mouth. But what are you gonna do? This is the stuff we love. So anyways, guys, that's gonna do it. Let me know what you thought. Uh, are you just giving up on the line? Playing it by ear, see what you get. If you manage to get a few pieces that you like, are you still going to buy? Or are you just going to put your efforts into something else and just say, no go, G.I. Joe. So comment, share, like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube mumbo jumbo. Put the bell notification on so you can find out whenever it is that I'm uploading, whenever I put a community post up, when the next live stream is, which is Wednesday night with Ty from Ty's Throwbacks. So hang out with myself and Ty. We'll see what his channel is all about. Maybe go take a peek at his stuff right now, so then you're a little more edumacated for when uh, when I when I talk to him. So again, guys, uh, love all the support. Let's keep going. Um, again, make sure you thumbs it up. I should have said it earlier, but whatever. Uh, appreciate everybody taking the time to watch. We'll see you again real soon. Later, eh?